Hi everyone, it's Ali and welcome back to the Heffy Doodle YouTube channel. I have two cards for you today using the Blooming Marvelous stamp set and I've also got some tips, tricks and tools to show you that I'm using currently. So this first tip is to um, keep your dies all together and not snip them apart and I do do this with quite a few of my dies and the reason is this, so that you can use it as a template, you place it with the cut side down into your misty or your stamp positioner and then you can place all of your little stamps in the corresponding die just fiddle around with them until they seem to sit quite firmly in the position and this is great for those stamp sets with lots of little pieces um, which you might want to stamp all of them out and so position all of your stamps in there shut the door of the misty and pick all of your stamps up like you would normally and then you can remove the die like so and then all of your stamps are in the correct position for just laying that die over the top of them when they're stamped and running it through your die cutting machine and stamp um, die cutting them all at once so I'm using wilted violet first and I stamped out quite a few different um, colors in these flowers I did a Victorian velvet I did some worn lipstick uh, sponge sugar I did uh, some hickory smoke and I did peeled paint for the leaf section so I didn't stamp the flowers in the peeled paint um, and I just did a couple of those uh, leaf I guess leaf uh, images with the peeled paint a couple of sets of those um, and then I just laid my die over the top like so and it fits really quite nicely and then you can just cut them all out in the one pass so I learned that from YouTube. I can't remember who it was in particular. I think quite a few crafters use this technique. Um, and then I went ahead and stamped the middle of the flowers with the stamps from that stamp set. And I then layered a couple of them on top of each other as well. Then I went through and picked out the colours that look good together. And the first card I made using the hickory smoke, the worn lipstick and the peeled paint leaves. And that also made a second card with the leftover flowers as well. So it's a really good way to um, be quite efficient with your card making. So I've laid them out on a um, background piece and I just wanted to keep them all in the right place. So I used some of my Glad Press and Seal, which I do use quite a bit. And it's really great stuff if you can get your hands on it uh, for doing exactly this, which is just keeping everything in the right place and then sticking it all on together at the end. This is something else that I've just recently got, but I'm using it so much. My Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station. That's the flexible ruler that you get with the station. And it comes with four magnets as well, really strong magnets. And I have made up my own extra magnetic ruler by just sticking some magnetic sheeting to the back of a ruler that I already had. And you can see it's really strong and keeps everything in place really quite nicely. But the magnets are fantastic as well and I'm using them mostly. So I like to use my Heavy Doodle stencils quite a bit. So this is great for that. These are some makeup brushes from my local Aussie Kmart and I'm finding them fabulous and this is the Tailored Expressions. I've also got those uh, brushes too and I'm just showing you the comparison in size to the other makeup brushes. Um, now I'm just going to go ahead with some of the peeled paint and gently pull that um, from the left hand corner up across my stencil just to give a few kind of rays on the background piece just to give it a little bit more interest than the plain white. Um, and I just made it really quite light, I didn't want it to be too obvious. And then once I was happy with that, I just placed my pieces, my flower pieces back on. I put some glue on the back of them and because they're all stuck on my Glad Press and Seal, I can then just flip it over and press it down and, and adhere them all to the front of that piece. Once they're pressed and glued, as far as you can tell, then you can just gently peel the Glad Press and Seal back. If any aren't glued down properly, you can just pop them back down again. And then I've uh, trimmed that down and attached that to the front of a white card piece. I've also used the Heffy Cuts Hugs and on my other card I've used the Heffy Cuts Hello. And um, these are the two finished cards. 
On that one I used the wilted violet and the spun sugar. So thanks for watching. I hope you found all that really handy and some useful tips if you didn't know them already. There's some more videos at the end of this one that you may find interesting. Thanks so much for joining us and I'll see you again next time.